is fishing for that up smash with Fox, where most of the cast would just, you know, evaporate. So I expect to see the same thing here, where Light is going to be, I'm sorry, Lin is going to be giving Light a little bit of a run for his money, as again, we see the pe the, the Peach, we do see the uh, Fox as always, and we're starting off pretty strong on, on Ling's end here. Yeah, well, the thing is, we've seen this matchup a couple times at like the top, top level with Light and Mewis playing a lot of the time. And I feel like I said before, Ling is no slouch either. You know, people might not talk about Ling as much, but Ling does know some things they can you know, possibly show if they get a chance if Light's feeling uh, generous, so to speak, right now. For sure, they're starting off with a downer as well. Ling kind of, kind of hopefully trying to get an extra situation, but instead, somehow, some way, Light gets back onto the stage and starts with these juggle up airs and sending Ling pretty much uh, fighting for his life off stage, going in for the parasol up B. But the pressure of the uh, the black air on shield is going to be enough for Ling to be honestly be taken to 120%. The reverse hit of that air also coming out just for just, just for funsies, threatening the back air, look at the short hopping, <laughs> and there it is, the conditioning that makes Light a top player. Yeah. Yeah, if it's not once, we did it twice, man. Keep it twice, either way. Uh, you know, and, and the thing is that Light will keep pressure with that back because everyone knows the first back air Fox, it never kills, right? That's why we have to do it a second time, and it worked at that time as well. Taking the first stock and barely took any percent as well. Ling has to work it even harder if he wants to take the first one. Absolutely, and... And Ling has to like work super hard to get this first dog gone, like, just like you had just mentioned. Even though Light is at 81%, it's still so much harder for Ling to get something started, especially when Light is kind of moving at this at the at the speed of Fox, one of the fastest uh, speed uh, spaces we have in the game. Big rapid drag on the ledge. I mean, you really can't yeah hold all this damage, hold all this percentage buildup that Light is showing uh, us today. Ling is attempting to get something started. The hip bump on Shield not gonna be too bad at least, but we're now fumbling in the middle of the stage. Finding a way for Light to lose his first stock. Ling is still struggling. About to lap the percentage here, in fact. Okay, trying to pressure with the back air. And he gets to do it the first time that time. Ling, learning from the first mistake, but not learning from that second one either way. Taking that second stock, and Ling is going to have to find himself three stocks to one. Has to do again a little bit more work. You know, he's got a mountain to climb, but there's Lagoon Boots getting put on. Maybe trying to get something started. Has a sudden been hand. Maybe he can get something, but no. Just going to follow up with not too much. And Light still steaming ahead. For sure, and I want to mention we haven't seen too many opportunities for Ling to utilize those turnips, those uh, those uh, peach bombs as well. If, if, you, if we can even get one, first of all, but hasn't been able to utilize it because of just light just being on top of him at all times. He hasn't really had time to pull those out uh, and utilize them in a more meaningful way. So Ling is just struggling to utilize half of Peach's kit where she should be giving off us all that pressure with her float, giving us pressure with her hip bump, with her uh, her parasol as well. I mean, things like that are just not able to be utilized, but that down is going to be a really good start to hopefully edge our light for a little longer, but unfortunately, light comes back with a vengeance. I was going to say, you know, at the moment, you know, light was having a big start, but Ling starts to kind of come back into the game, understand what they need to do, get a nice grab right there, down throw into the back air, of course. Maybe they can still stop right now with the turn, but it just goes through it with the upbeat intercepts either way. Another grab from Ling, just trying to get anything started, but light not letting it happen. Pretty much a scramble in the middle of the stage here. And it's going to be uh, Ling getting the advantage with the big shine coming in clutch to kind of push Ling off him for a while there. And Light not going to get countered. <laughs> Ling all the way down there floating, trying to uh, try his best to find a way out of this predicament. But at some point, we got to just daintily float down to the blast zone. And Light takes game one. It was a really interesting way to start the set. I feel like Light does the kind of the, the usual Light thing of like, you know what I mean? Even if the, the sleeves aren't rolled up, yep. they start the set guns blazing. But I think as Ling was kind of woken up straight away, uh, they were kind of sleeping at the wheel. Because as Ling was kind of like getting into the game, they were finding stocks, finding a bit more pressure. Uh, but I feel like it was too little too late uh, for that first game. I completely agree with you. And it's a... Uh it's kind of that difference between a high-level player like Ling and then a top-level player like Light, who has top aided multiple majors sure. across his lifetime. And it's that adaptation, that way to just snap right back into your habits, snap right back into what makes you a great and phenomenal, you know, uh, standout player of this caliber. Now we're seeing a complete reversal, where in game one, Ling was kind of in the lead for a while there. Mm -hmm. Now it's just fully in Light's direction. Light has the driving wheel in his disposal. It's up to him to just steer it to victory. Okay, dropping a couple nares on that shield. Loads of leg drops coming out. Finally gets the kicker, takes him off the turnbuckle as well. And Light going to take that first stop again. Catching Ling slipping, has to set up in his hand and do something with it maybe. Nope, Ling says no to that. Trying to get the edge guard, but just Ling lets it slip away. 
For sure, going in for the up air as well, into the back air, trying to get some kind of edge guard, or even that's just uh, playing around the edge of the stage a little bit too much. You're going to be transitioning over to the Pokeball part of PS2. And again, Light is just in the driver's seat. We are kicking up the gas on I-95. We are just going straight in for it, but finally a reversal positions where Ling finally gets a little bit of the uh, the taste of the front seat. Getting this edge guard, hopefully, but no, the Firefox does come in clutch and allows, allows Light to come back to the stage pretty much for free. And they're kind of both staying at each other in neutral again. Light now taking his time. A lot more Tomahawks coming out in the second game. Understanding that Ling, since they took a beating that first game, going to probably stay in the shield a bit more now this game. Uh, a little bit more scared. Light's going to catch on to that, eat that for breakfast. But still, getting it served up at the moment on this ledge. Pressuring from Ling, finally. Can they get stopped though? Still can't. Yeah, has not been able to find these uh, fruitful edge guards whatsoever, but at the very least, we're keeping it a little more even, maybe percentage wise, but not stock wise. Don't forget, Link still has all three socks, at, uh, I'm sorry, Light has all three socks at his disposal. And right on time, I say that we now have two socks apiece, 152 on Link's end, though, so you can see that Light is spamming these up here, spamming these back here, is about to also fish for these uh, up smashes as well. Anything will really take Link's uh, second stock with a quickness if he's not careful. Okay, the down air going to fast all that time to not really get too much pressure. Light's going to push him away. The holding the A button does do a lot of work, as well as holding this ledge. And again, good trade for Light in that way. And Ling down another stock. Has to work a little bit more harder if he wants to get uh, back to even. Absolutely. Kind of look at the neutral here. Look at the, the spacing. Look at how Ling is trying to maneuver around Light so beautifully in order to not get hit by Fox antics. But unfortunately, Fox is Fox. We get in. We get these nares going. We get these up airs as well. And the up air into back air to boot. Now can we get the edge guard? Can we get the finishing touch? I like the fast fall upper from Light, actually understanding like, you know, when you catch that hitbox, you can get another like two or three more, especially on the platforms as well. But big up smash from uh, from Link, showing the love right there with the hearts coming out. Now, one stock of pizza, you know, a couple of peach combos, we're back into it. We're gonna see right now. Percent coming straight into Link's favor. And you see Light, you know, taking a seat back, saying, hey, you, 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 game's not over yet. <laughs> Game definitely isn't quite over quite yet, but it's definitely getting there sooner than later. Ling does not want to deal with it, even though the percentages are starting to get much more even here. Light is still in the driver's seat. Look at this, the back here, the, uh, the, the backer coming out, but the up smash barely whipping on shield. So it's going to be up to Ling to maybe bring it right back. Anything could happen. Just pull out a stitch, pull out a bomb, anything like that will be honestly secure in the game. But unfortunately, the willpower of Light does come into play. He takes game two. We are in best of five now? Yeah, we are in best Yippee! five territory. We're in top eight, baby. So yeah, we're going to see a couple more sets, maybe some adaptation going on. And again, Ling, it starts to come to set more and more and more. Uh, we thought they were kind of down and out that second game as well, but they, no, they were, they were just there. But again, like you said before, that, that willpower of light. Uh, he's a never give up man. And, uh, you know, not giving up at all. Link starting to find some answers, though. You know, a lot more times, you know, when they're stuck in shield as before yep. in the first and second game, uh, that's starting to, like, you know, press a few more buttons now. You know, I can, I've can i got peach buttons for a reason. i got to utilize them in, in a better way, of course. And definitely getting catching on to more what Light wants to do. Saying, you know, these shenanigans are not going to work on me anymore. i got some new stuff. Hopefully, um, we can take it to a game four or five. Who knows? But now we're going over to small battlefield, which is very interesting, uh, a very interesting counter pick on the side of Ling here. You want to close in the space, but do you really against someone like Fox, where you see a lot of these interactions that Light is winning, it is these up close quarter uh, and, and, and engagements, and it's only working out again. We're seeing these up airs, uh, I'm sorry, these up tilts on the platform is putting Ling in uncomfortable jungle situations, and even though this game, a lot, uh, this game is a lot more even so far, can I say it's going to continue that way forever? Oh, you. You say okay, them. A lot of stuff going on on this ledge. They're both swinging at each other. No one gonna lose a stock. But again, Ling, this game three, keeping it dead even. Come on now, come on now. A lot of maneuvering around, a lot of kind of scrapping it out, a lot of trades as well just coming in. Either, both uh, players here playing very respectfully around one another, playing respectfully around each other's hitboxes. But now it's Light who has to be in a little bit more in the uh, in the front seat here because uh, Mid Ling has somehow brought it pretty much back to even in this third and uh, and honestly most pivotal game so far for a for a start of a return of a reverse 3-0 and that's a great start to have it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I feel like when they're both of these these red percents, these high percents, it does feel like teachers in that favor with Fox quite you know. Uh, linear what they want, you know, they knew what they want. They want the dare to up smash, the nair to up smash or something like that. Ling, I feel like with Peach, has a lot more options. You're seeing Peach at these high percents, Ling especially, throwing out so many back airs like a Saturday night. I'm telling you, Mott, they want to get that kill somehow. Can they find a way there? And they did, that first stop has a little bit of a lead though, uh, on light side though, has come back. For sure, and on this ledge we come back, we do with the rubber jab to boo. Why are you get off, get off me to it indeed? You love to see it from Light, the top player coming in, but I love these interruptions of the side B, and I also love that we can't get to Sage. 
Oh my goodness, that's a big advantage for Ling here. Yeah, this is the first time we've actually seen Ling with like a comfortable lead now. We're gonna see how they can hold it. Or, you know, is the willpower of light gonna come back again like we talked about before in game two? How long can they keep this lead? The extra credit is building on the light side. Ling has to do something quickly. He definitely is. I mean, he's, he's, I mean, he's off the stage. He's getting rubber jab, but great introduction here. Going for the down throw into the nair in order to get Ling back. I'm sorry, Light back off stage. But Light finding the way for the side to come back for free. But again, it's going to be Ling who is going to be completely negating these options over and over again. Kind of exhausting them from Light over and over. Ling now off stage. We do go for the red neutral get up. Oh, I'm trying to get up attack from the ledge. And do we get some kind of something started? No, we fall out of the up air. And we actually return the favor with the Fox up smash. Uh -oh. Oh, now you've given Light a way to come back into the house, but the door's not shut tight. No lock scheme uh, at all at the moment. Link can do something maybe, but no. Big trade on Light's side. Going to be definitely in his favor as well with the up B. This Crashing looking... with the up as well. No, no, for sure. It's looking so clean for Ling right now. But any wrong interaction, and it goes immediately like that, and this type of finger goes right back in Light's favor. You saw the death shot try to come in. You got interrupted. It was interrupted by uh, by Fox as a Fox's aerial. Is that going to be enough? It absolutely is. Oh, we have a game today. I feel like, like I said before, man, when they're these like these triple percent, these you know these red percents, especially Ling, I feel like looks a bit more comfortable. Uh, you know, Light is looking for the kind of the one thing only, and it's like, damn, you know, they find a way to get that every time. The difference is with Peach. I feel like she has a lot more uh, different options to pick from, uh, so to speak. You know. Finally in uh, Ling's favor. No, fi no, for real. And even if you want to say, yeah, because Light as deed, we take those! <laughs> we take those! I don't care! That's facts. Uh, listen, if I'm going up against, listen, if I am in bracket against Zomba and he SDs, and I have him to win the set, I'm retiring from Smash, and I'm taking that win for the rest of my life. You know what? That's real. It's real. Listen, you take whatever you can get, and it also allows Ling a chance at a rebirth of Renaissance here as we try to get a reverse sweep. And this is going to be a great start to it. Yes, we won because, like, that's deed. Hold on, let's, let's hope we, we do it three more times. Mark said it best. We take those. We take sure. those. We take those. It's your opportunity, baby. Now open that door and go through it. Three. I said before, but the, light, the, the door has not been shut tight. Ling has been knocking for a while. We're going to see if Light can keep him at the house. But okay, Ling with a good start this time. But nope, Light going to come back spinning again. The up tilts, the up has anything. Gonna hold A all the time with Fox. Absolutely, and you're also seeing Ling just kind of hang on the ledge a little bit, taking a, a game plan from some of our favorite uh, players here. Just kind of just wait out Fox a little bit, just kind of, you know, slow it down a bit, because Light wants to be so in your face, so aggressive, so speedy. That's the name of the game with Fox. And Peach can really has the uh, ability, the talent even, to slow it down to her pace, given the right tools. And I think Ling is trying to do that right now, starting off with the with the, with the backers, starting off with, of course, the turners as well. We can actually get them out. But otherwise, all these trades are, are they're happening, but they're not favorable to light to Ling so far. I'm telling you, bro, if the back end don't work the first time, it's going to work the second time. Let's get the kill, though, but still a lot of pressure being added. You can see, like, Positioning really well to understand you. The micro spacing. I don't want to be too close to that ledge gap attack, but I will be just enough away so I can get my attack in my, uh, myself. That's just the awareness that you have with our characters. You have it for so long. We know exactly how far we need to go to secure a, uh, a hit, to secure a W. And that's exactly what Light just did. Was at the perfect spacing to secure Link's first stock. But Link coming up with a vengeance. We're off stage. Can we get the piece down there? Can we get the counter? Oh, we do! Toad, baby girl! Thank you for the assist. Yo, big MVP. That man stands out for the longest time, by the way. I thought I'm, that counter would end it. Like, damn. <laughs> You're the best friend in the building, apparently. He's still going to help the girl out. Peach on a good job now. Ling again with the lead. What can you do with it? You've been doing a good well, uh, a good job so far. Uh, but Light obviously has to fight back now. Has him on the ledge again. Are we going to see the back edge? Just the fair this time. A couple of kicks to keep him away. The lasers for that little safe damage as well. Anything helps a fox. For sure, and again, you're seeing Light just kind of bring uh, rev it right back up in his favor. Although we did see Ling was in the in, in the percentage lead, now Light has pretty much brought it almost to even, if not more, in his favor percentage-wise. This is kind of where Fox wants to be. Once you're around that 100%, 110 range, he's looking for that up smash. Light just a little bit too early on that on that pull, but there it is. Right after 100%, we pull that trigger, and you're down for the count. Ling on his last stock, but definitely not impossible. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of the time now when Ling is in disadvantage, likes to throw out a lot of these float nares, but on the retreating side to make sure if you want to come in close to me, I've got a big, quick hitbox as well. Uh, you know that does a lot of knockback. Oh, big, big, big! All right, all right. I, I definitely missed saw who got the the tech situation, but thankfully it was not light, and light able to actually and uh, and try entice himself into the stage a little more, into this fight a little more. 
But now it's Ling fighting for his life, trying to get back somewhere, trying to even take the second stock from Light. Well, great fourth throw should be a great start to uh, the, this advantage state, but the Reflector gonna be coming in and just negating the turnip whatsoever. A possible gimp not gonna happen on my watch, Light says. Yeah, but I feel like Ling is taking a bit too much damage, like bleeding out, and Ling uh, already looking at the last stock might be over for them. And this one inside, Light trying to make sure, but okay. Oh. Okay. I might have spoke too soon, Mark. Who knows? Ling gotta uh, do something right now. I mean, I know Ling's at 100%. That's what Light's looking for. He's going in with these uh, long lasting nerds, these long lasting forwarders, and he wants you to block for a little bit too long, drop, shoot, and go to the up smash. But the dash attack coming in from Peach is going to be a great uh, uh, a great tool to kind of stuff uh -oh. out this uh, this uh -oh. fox. And we are getting the momentum. Look at this. Oh my god, Copter. Wait, we're so back. We are so back. Absolutely. It might be over. Who knows? And again, Ling's coming in with these retreating float nerds. They're doing so much work. Making sure the light comes in, he's taking a lot of damage. As long as he holds shield, light cannot kill the man. We are completely even here, 100%. Uh -oh, where you going? oh, oh, great! Had the it had the right tech, but just a little bit too far for a link for light to actually follow up on it. So therefore, link gets another lease on life a little bit faster than expected. We have the, the we have the start of the up throw. Are we going for the up throw? Are we going in for the up smash? Instead, we're going in for the peach back here. Her bosom is big for a reason, and she's gonna knock you over to the blast zone. We are in a game five. And of course, light does that classic top player thing. Not even top player to any player thing. You know what? I just lost. Run it back, bro. Just a finger back. waggle is all we need. Really need right now. The finger wiggle, shall I say? Uh, <laughs> Bring it, to, uh, bring it to game five now. And like I said before, when Ling understands his advantage state, a lot of a lot of top players, or even players in general, when they're being hit, they want to zigzag down to the stage. I call it yes. magnet di. They never like to reset back to the ledge. But Ling, such a smart player, when he's getting hit, he's like, you know what? You're good at the uh, you're good in this advantage state. Let me just go to the ledge, reset the situation, get my float retreat nares. What can you do about it? Nothing. Absolutely. Game five now. We are finally in game five. Ling on a on a cusp of a reverse sweep here, mm -hmm. bringing it right back from being down two entire games. Now we're in game five. We're running it right back to small oh battlefield. Oh my goodness! And Why are we trolling? No way! You're hey. telling me I've been gassing you up for a good four games to the Twitch chat, and now how do I commentate that now? You just want to give light like, freebies? I mean. We take those. <laughs> <Facts>. <laughs> Listen, Ling, okay, in all seriousness though, he may have SD'd, but we've seen him bring it back 100% to two, to two socks on light and bring it and also win the game out. Is it impossible? No. Is it that much harder? You know what? It's yes. Over. Especially you, when you have over. one sock. I fear <laughs> it may be over. It may be a little bit over. No, I feel we're so back over now, bro. It's, it's over now. Definitely. There's no back at all. Ling. Uh, just kind of just gave away this game five. So unfortunate. Uh, I feel like both players are shaking their heads. But okay, Ling got to do something. But at the moment, it looks like it's just uh, not going their way. Trying to fight the up tilt as well. Like gonna take that damage all day long. We we'll go for a back air, but we walk into the up smash. That was so un uh, anticlimactic. Uh, that's probably that's probably the most anti respectfully to Ling and, and Lei, of course. That's probably the most anticlimactic game I've ever casted. <laughs> I've been casting for almost three years now. Or two years. I have no idea. I lost track. You all take the cake. Like, that is... This, that hurts. That hurts a lot. And you know what's also... I, I want to compliment this, though. Um, the fact that Light also realized, man, like, this shouldn't have gone this way. Sure, You yeah, know, yeah. It, you could tell he was... I feel like he was expecting... Um, a really entertaining fifth game, a really nail biter fifth I think game. Everyone in their mom was expecting a really tight, you know, close yep. game, and then out of nowhere, and they mm -hmm. just wanted to. They were tired. I don't know, they gassed out. Listen, Mama Neva was out there. She was listening. She was up there for the for the for the game five, but no, it just didn't work out. But you know what? It is what it is. A what a. It's still winner's side. So we will be seeing Ling fight it out in loser's side. But before we.